Hello and welcome to Unbox the Podcast, the podcast that helps you live your best life. I'm your host, Sahar Hunaidi Palmer. Unbox Coffee Break started in the lockdown of 2020. What developed was a true sense of community, virtual community, and I found a new way to support my friends, followers, and those who needed help. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to Unbox Coffee Break with Sahar. I put a um, little survey asking, what would you like to talk about today? Most of you wanted to talk about relationships. And then the second popular one was about thoughts, thinking, and thinking process. And I think if you want to solve any problem in your life, (laughs) you need to understand you better on a deeper level. And you need to know how you think. Otherwise, no matter what you do, you might not arrive at the decision that you want. So this is really quite important. And this is why I'm really passionate about self-awareness and self-growth. And this is why I've developed, put together everything that I know and branded it as Unbox the Real You. And I think life becomes a lot easier if you get to know who you are truly who you are and how you function as a human being, it will become a lot easier to make these decisions, to find out how you feel, whether it was about a job or a relationship or whatever it is. And I just want to remind you the pillars of Unbox Mentoring. Hi, Benzaki. Good to see you. The four dimensions of change. The body, Bima, body, emotions, mind, and actions. And if you remember the pyramid... The highest or the biggest foundation is the body, the physical body, because it contains everything. It contains our biology, our biochemistry. It's our health. If you don't have a good body, you're not going to be here. You're not going to be alive. So truly important. But the body is like a bank of everything, how we respond, how we assimilate, absorb things, react to stimulus in life. When we get to the emotions and the mind, the two are very much interconnected. A lot of times... We don't know, are we feeling fear or thinking fear? Are we feeling truly love or are we thinking love? And this is where things get muddled up because sometimes most of us cannot differentiate between what we think and what we feel. But the next step is the action. So if you haven't sorted out your four dimensions, if your awareness has not gone deep enough, in order to know yourself, your inner world, if you will, you're not going to arrive at the top of the pyramid, which is taking actions and feeling or holding yourself accountable to your actions. And this is why I thought to solve any problem you have, you really have to know yourself well. And I want to talk about, thank you all for joining. And this is why I want to talk about the thinking process and the mind. Many years ago, in the early 90s, I really spent about 20 years just exploring who I am, learning everything about holistic well-being, self-awareness, self-growth, because I really wanted to know where do I fit in life and what is my purpose. And I worked with different people, took different courses, looked for different mentors, and I met this very unusual man in the early 90s, who literally changed my life. And I want to tell you why. He was very unusual. He had a very unusual career or job. He was unusual in the way that he thought. He was unusual in the way that he perceived things. And he was very, very perceptive. And the thing that he said was changed my life is he had described how I think. And up until that point in life, I think I was in my early 30s, like literally 30, 31 or something. I did not know how I thought. I was not aware of my thinking process. And this is why the mind fascinates me, because it is our control center. And if we get to know our mind, what motivates it, what gets it going, then we're going to start knowing ourselves is it, are we feeling or thinking, etc.? And then we will arrive at the right action in life. And this is why it's almost sacred, you know, the unboxing and the mentoring and helping people out, because how else are you going to live your life? So when he described my thinking process, I mean, that's the best thing that anybody could have told me. It was like an aha moment. And I started delving more into how the brain functions, 
How do we really think? Is there an original thought? All of these things. Now, I'm going to oversimplify the brain and how it works and how we think just to make a point. And the reason that I want to do this is because I watched my niece kind of agonize over the past week trying to sort something out. And no matter what I said didn't really help because she's young, intelligent, independent. You know, like I felt when I was young, I'm going to do everything on my own. But it does take you longer. (laughs) You do suffer a lot in the process. Then I was walking out. My husband and I always had like a couple of toys by the door in case children came. We didn't have children together. But it was very important that when our friends came to visit with their children, they had something to play. And I found this, which is the Lego thing. And suddenly I got it and I thought, I'm going to explain in a very simple way how the brain works. So when you think, literally, you cannot think or find a solution with what you already know. So if this is your brain, literally, as you experience life, I'm going to put these pieces of of Lego into it. You have one experience, it goes into your brain, you feel something, it goes into your brain, you read something, it goes into your brain, you experience another experience, it goes into your brain. And all these little experiences, you know, thoughts, ideas, whatever it is as you grow older, will go into your brain. Until you get stuck, and then suddenly you're looking for a solution. So what the brain does, it aligns maybe is not the right word, but it puts what you know, it links what you know together. It brings memories, experiences from the past in order to help you decide for the future. So if this is all you know, and you're trying and you're trying and you're trying and you're getting stuck and you can't find the solution and you can't move forward, what are you going to do? Well, the simple answer is put more. Seek someone who knows more who has been there, who've done that, did this, read another book, I don't know, talk to a person as you live longer, as you grow up day by day, you're going to have more experiences, more thoughts, you're going to be exposed to more things. And this is how we mature because, or one way how we mature, because the brain has more to work with. So when you get stuck, don't come down on yourself. Because with what you already know, you couldn't find the answer. And the brain can't help you because that's the software. So the brain is the hardware and what you know, if you like, is the software. So you need to upgrade the software if you want your hardware to work better. It could come through these ways. It could come by observing yourself, observing your patterns, figuring out what is your dynamic. And then as you change a thought, maybe take out something that doesn't work for you, Replace it with something new that does work. And then suddenly your thinking process is going to change and you may perceive things differently. How does the brain upgrade itself? One of the easiest, simplest way is when you sleep. And this is why sleeping is so important that you get enough sleep, that you're relaxed, that you allow different, I think they call them holons, to upgrade themselves, strengthen themselves. The brain literally does get rid of thoughts, beliefs that no longer work in the sleep, in your sleep. So when we don't sleep and we stay up late and we stress and we keep thinking and analyzing and overanalyzing, you're only enforcing your faulty thinking process that is not taking you anywhere. In short, seek a mentor, seek a guide, seek a coach, Someone who can help you, show you things from a different perspective. The whole idea of Unbox is that you learn how to do that yourself. So I've kind of developed also tools, exercises that can, not shortcut, but can help you highlight where your weaknesses are. And when you are on your own, how to use these tools so that you don't get stuck and waste your time and waste your life. So truly, whatever you learn about self-awareness and self-growth is going to help you every single day of your life. The other thing or the other point that I want to make, if you think you're so proud of yourself and you know enough and, and you put this burden on yourself to solve all your problems by yourself all the time, you're going to be exhausted, one. Two, you are going to be so inflexible 
in the way that you perceive things, which is probably the reason why we refuse advice or, you know, we don't take advice from sources that we think like, oh, you know, I can't relate to that. They're not going to tell me what I need to know, but it's not true. Anything new can help you realign or reconstruct, if you like, your thinking process and lead you to a different understanding, different perspective, and different decision in your life. So what I'm highlighting here is flexibility. So we are all similar, but we are each unique because of how we think, how we process, and how we deal or respond to things that happen in life. So when you find someone who is credible, have been there, worked with 14,000 people, you know, done this, done that, spent a long time contemplating, thinking, it could be your neighbor, it could be your children, it could be your best friend. Everyone is different. And everyone has perceived the same issue or problem from a different perspective. You will lose nothing by listening to them. You can only enrich your mind. But in the end, it is your responsibility Don't take somebody else's experience at face value. I'm going to make a lot of noise now as I put all these pieces back into the box. So now it's a better brain because it has all this info in it. And if you're flexible enough, if you're not stubborn, if you're open to accepting that you are wrong or that you are missing something or that you can't reach all the answers by yourself, you will truly become resilient. Resilience is about flexibility, is about responding appropriately, which means you don't indulge in becoming down. You don't indulge in thinking and being emotional and overanalyzing because you're going to miss the window where you can stay in alignment. And when you are pushed out of alignment, this is when things begin to go horribly wrong. And if they go horribly wrong for a very long time, we really do get stuck and it takes a lot more effort to get us moving up again and moving forward in life. So I want to remind you, the thing about self-awareness is be honest to yourself. Commit to getting to know you. The best thing you can do in life is to really get to know who you are, what your gifts are, and how you're meant to live life. This is how we really evolve. As human beings, we've developed the neocortex and it took millions of years. And what really distinguishes us from mammals, and we are very, very similar to mammals, is the neocortex. Because of this ability to synthesize is probably even more important than analyze. And the second important thing is the ability to self-calm or self-soothe. You know, the British attitude of stay calm and keep going on. It really does work because when you're calmer, it's kind of like your perspective widens and the wiring of the brain works and you get to think more clearly. But when you stress, there is more cortisol, there is more pain, which attracts more pain. And then you dig a deeper hole for yourself. So this is another point that I'm making. Once you understand how human beings function you will be less hard on yourself. You might feel stuck, but there is always a way out. With awareness, you will become aware as to which dimension, because everything you can really group under these four dimensions of change. And you can therefore begin to apply this awareness once you've recognized what your patterns are, what your vulnerabilities are. So all of that, you're going to learn. You're going to learn how to become aware, how to manage your life so that you truly are the same person in all circumstances, and you appreciate your life on a deeper level. What happens when you become resilient and you're aware with all of that is truly living gets to be a lot easier and more enjoyable. It's kind of like an interactive game. You become aware of your responses, what you're attracting in your life, what you're getting rid of. And unboxing can happen truly with anything with anything. You can begin with yourself, you can begin with your house, you can begin by unboxing a talent or an ability, something creative. It doesn't matter what, but the beauty of all of this is you don't really need the past. You can start from now just by recognizing I am not fantastically happy with my life. I feel that I could improve something more. I feel that I could be living a better life. You know, pay attention to dissatisfaction or this ease But don't sit on it, because if you sit on it for too long, it becomes disease.
And that's the whole sense of wellness and well-being is to note, you know, to have a kind of a holistic approach to look after your diet yourself because that's a physical body, to sleep well again so that your brain can renew itself. And above all, really become aware of how you think, what beliefs are you feeding your mind. And by the way, this is another thing about the subconscious. Whatever goes into the subconscious gets there consciously. So there's no magic here. (laughs) <laughs> pay attention to the words you use, how you describe yourself, how you put yourself down, how you talk or yell at other people. All of that will reflect your patterns to you. Think about that. Think about what you would like to explore more. If you feel you're stuck and you can't figure something out for yourself, don't get stuck. DM me because you will get a complimentary session with me. Even if you're getting worried and anxious, I've just spoken about that. That's the repeated pattern that you keep going and going and you will only help but enforce it even more. So worries come from beliefs, from thoughts, and you need to understand how you think and what's going into your brain. So watch this again. But whatever your issue is, send me a direct message, book a discovery session, 40 minutes free with me, and let's figure out what is it that you truly need. Also remember, all previous coffee breaks are on IGTV. Listen to them, look them up. There's a lot of videos on my YouTube channel with tips, interviewing other coaches and mentors. So whatever age you are, man or woman, you will find something that will help you unbox. But I really want to create a lot of stuff that can help you move forward and offer it to you for free so that you have absolutely no excuse not to become more aware and to unbox your life and find out who the real you is. Stay well, take care.